how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw the sandworm from Beetlejuice. If you ever saw that movie, it's one of my favorite movies. Uh, love that movie, but I thought it was a really good Halloween topic. So um, I'm going to be using Acrylic brand marker and regular printing paper, and that's all you need, okay? So let's jump into it. Right off the bat, I'm going to go over here to the mouth. If you don't know much about Beetlejuice, Go check out that movie, it's really awesome, but it's essentially, he has a head coming out of the head of the sandworm. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just drawing this like thin-lipped area. Go over here, the face. So it's the face coming out of the mouth. It's the top of the mouth, and I'm, I'm going to have the face coming out over here. line over here and there's like the lips on the 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 head of the inside but this will make more sense as we go along all right go over here the bottom lip of the inside head there line here Pulling in. So we got the lower part of the face there. Also, don't forget if you like Halloween drawing stuff, uh, I'm going to be posting throughout the Halloween season. Uh, actually, uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps the algorithm out and it kind of spreads the Halloween spirit around as well. Uh, but also, it's going to notify you when, you when I post videos. If you subscribe and then click the bell notification. Go up here for that outside lip, I guess, and then here's a lower lip on the outside. So it's like a lip type here on the big worm and lip type here on the inside. So let's go over here to the big worm, pulling out over here, up, pulling in, jaw, and now we're gonna draw the worm, okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. And here. I'm going to give it like a lot of a lot of turns. And now I'm going to go over here to the bottom part of that and finish that part. See, I'm going to follow the turns here. Like so. So you have like the whole worm. Let's go into the eyes. Circle over here. Lines over here along the edges. Kind of like crazy eyes kind of thing. Draw spikes over here because that's the big head has like spikes on the teeth here. I just didn't draw in. They're just triangles. Go over here. Triangles on this side. Let's go to the face of the worm on the inside here. That one's going to have a little bit of a difference of a face. More of a regular eye. And then it's going to have like an actual like pupil and iris. <laughs> I'm gonna draw some has some pattern there on the front on the inside face. I'm gonna draw like a tongue over here on this guy. Line over here. Uh, if you've ever seen Beetlejuice, I hopefully that's why you're watching this, but definitely let me know what you think about it. It's one of my favorite childhood movies. I'm gonna draw sharp teeth on the inside fish here as well. So these triangle shapes. But let me know what you think. Okay, I got that going. And I'm gonna draw the stripes on this big worm here. And uh, well, first thing I do is it has a bit of a spike at the top. And 
curve. Imagine like a round curve, right? That's going to be that stripe over here as well. Over here as well. Here, here, here. So I'm going to try to fill this in. Hopefully it won't kill my marker too much. I'm going to fill that in. Over here I'm going to fill this in. I think I might have filled in the wrong one actually. I should have filled in that one. I'm going to try to squeeze this one in here. And then fill this in. Over here. Line over here. And I'm going to fill this area in here. Dang, this area is like kind of... I'm going to grab a, a newer marker. And just because I think it'll be faster with a new marker. There we go. You can always just color this in with colored pencil. You don't even really have to do it, but... So... Line over here line over here and I'm just gonna keep doing this till the end of the worm So, whew, there's a lot of these. Wow. Okay. So now I'm going to color all these in. I'll talk to you about Halloween as I'm doing this. Well, not all of them, but every other one. Um, Halloween this year, I'm going to be uh, dressed up like Marty McFly from Back to the Future. It's actually an outfit I've been wanting to do for a while. But, you know, what? I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it this year. Because the last few years, I've been dressed up like Waldo, like... I did Waldo a bunch of years. Man, that got annoying because people just kept saying the same thing over and over again. I found you, Waldo. You know? And this is like I'm walking around like downtown or something like that. I mean, I mean, I must have got that. I think we counted it. It was like 70 times or something. It was like crazy. So it got sickening and I was like, okay, I'm done with the Waldo thing. Uh, then I dressed up like a squirrel. That's the one that I still have. I might still wear it on, on one of the days of Halloween this year. And then I, um, what else was there? I was a, like a dog or something like that. It was like a shaggy dog outfit. I remember that. Then I was uh, Freddy Krueger, but without the mask, you know? It was just kind of like the hat and the shirt and, you know, I just wore the same jeans. I wore that because it was easy. I did Wario one year. That was a pretty good outfit. No, yeah, Wario. Then I did, what else did I do? Is that it? I might have, that might have been it. I think I don't think I did much more than that, honestly. That's funny. I need to get more outfits, but I pretty much was doing the same outfit for years and years and years, you know. That Freddy Krueger outfit I had, like, wow. Like, forever. Like, forever I had that outfit. Um, if I do Freddy again... I'll make it better. I'll get like the claw. I didn't even have the claw, you know? I'll get the claw, maybe a better shirt. Um, I look like, you know, wish.com Freddy Krueger, I think. That's kind of the outfit I had. Where it wasn't really the hat, but it wasn't really the shirt colors. It just kind of looked like that because of the hat and I had a striped shirt on. But uh, yeah, good times. Anyways, that's it. That's Beetlejuice. If you haven't seen Beetlejuice, by the way, go watch that. That is such an amazing movie. Um, but that's it. I'll talk to you next time. There's one thing I can do, actually. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, all right. Uh, well, let me see. Do I have time to do it? 
uh, no, I'm good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section and share the video with someone that you think will like it. Talk to you later on.